Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. The rotary engine is alternative of the reciprocating engine. It is developed by Wankel in the year 1957. In rotary type of engine the pressure force is generated by the combustion of fuel is exerted on a rotor. So the rotor revolves and converts the chemical energy of fuel into mechanical energy. This engine is compact and it has high power weight ratio, so this is widely used in submarines and helicopters. The Wankel engine is a type of internal combustion engine using an eccentric rotary design to convert pressure into rotating motion. When a tip of the rotor passes the intake port, fresh mixture starts entering into the first chamber. The chamber draws fresh air until the second apex reaches the intake port and closes it. At the moment, fresh air fuel mixture is sealed into first chamber and is being taken away for combustion. Fresh charge gets compressed due to shape of the engine by the time it reaches to spark plug. When the spark plug ignites, the highly compressed mixture expands explosively. The pressure of expansion pushes the rotor in forward direction. This happens until the first corner passes through the exhaust port to let out the gas free. In Wankel rotary engine, some parts work together and achieve the goal of convert the energy. These parts are triangular rotor, intake and exhaust ports, stationary gear, eccentric drive shaft, combustion chamber, apex seal, spark plugs and housing. Let's check out the main parts. Rotor, in a rotary engine a triangular shaped rotor is used. It has three convex faces. Each faces act like a piston. The rotor works as the prime mover in the rotary engine. The force generated by the combustion of fuel is directly exerted on the rotor, so it rotates eccentrically. The rotor has an internal timing gear on one side, which mash with the fixed timing gear, situated on the side housing to maintain correct relationship between rotor and eccentric shaft. Next is the housing. The rotor spin in the oval-shaped chamber known as housing. The function of housing is same as the function of cylinder in the reciprocating engine. Housing contains inlet and outlet port, spark plug, water jacket etc. The main housing is closed by use of side housing. Side housing contain a fixed timing gear which mashes with the internal timing gear and maintain correct relationship between rotor and eccentric shaft. It is usually made by aluminum silicon alloy. Next is eccentric shaft, eccentric shaft, which is also known as the output shaft is used to convert the eccentric motion of rotor into concentric motion and carry it out from engine. And the main part in Wankel engine is apex seal. All sides of triangular rotor works as the piston. So it is necessary to seal this entire chamber with one another. To fulfill this function, apex seal is used at each corner of rotor. It is gas-tight sealing between rotor and housing. It is usually made by cast iron and sometime by high carbon steel. The energy converting process in a Wankel rotary engine is divided into four processes. These are intake, compression, power, and exhaust. All processes are going on at the same time around each rotor while the engine is running. The engine has three lobed. The rotor driven eccentrically in the casing in such a way that there are three separate volumes trapped between the rotor and the casing. These three volumes perform induction, compassion, combustion, and exhaust processes in sequences. The intake process, intake is mean to intake of air fuel mixture into the engine. When the lobe moves, the space between lobe and C expands. This cause air fuel mixture enters into engine through inlet port to fill the space. 
When the lobe C passes the intake port, the space between A and C sealed off. The intake process is followed by compression process. When the rotor revolves, the space between lobe A and B greatly reduced. So the mixture between lobe A and B compress. Next is combustion process. When the mixture between A and B compressed completely, a spark generate at the spark plug which ignites the mixture. It burn and force the rotor to turn. It is also known as power generating process. And the last one is exhaust process. When the lobe B passes the exhaust port the burn mixture exhausts. Exhaust follow continuously in each rotor chamber. This occurs as long as the engine is running. That was all about the Wankel engine, if you have any doubts and queries, ask us by commenting, hit like and share our videos to everyone. Subscribe Aim Amy for more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.